This is Shelley Neese from the Jerusalem Connection. Rabbi Irving Greenberg, a pioneer in Jewish-Christian dialogue and expert on Jewish-Christian theology, once remarked that he did not care what religion or denomination you belonged to, as long as you were a little embarrassed about it. The Christian church has plenty to be embarrassed about. For 2,000 years, we made a habit out of affirming Christianity by negating Judaism. Anti-Semitism started early in the church out of a desire to separate Christianity from Judaism. As the Roman church gained power, this desire for distinct, distinction evolved into oppression. At best, Jews were forcefully converted. At worst, they were burned at the stake. Persecution was excused by blaming Jews for the death of Jesus. Even more so, persecution was justified on the basis of a false teaching that said when Jews rejected Jesus, God rejected the Jews. This prevalent belief known as replacement theology. Replacement theology teaches that God has cut off his people from the covenants and has no future plans for the nation of Israel. Of course, replacement theology has a tough time explaining the supernatural survival of the Jewish people and the miraculous rebirth of the nation of Israel after almost 2,000 years. Christian teachings of contempt fed the fires of anti-Semitism for centuries. It took the horrors of the Holocaust to finally bring Christians to their knees and in spiritual humility, repenting of the sins committed against the Jewish people. Christian Zionists in the 20th century started a theological revolution in the church to redefine the relationship between the church and Israel. The first steps were to reject replacement theology, recognize Judaism as a living religion, and embrace the fact that God's covenant with the Jewish people is eternal. It's a simple acknowledgement. When God says, I will make an everlasting covenant with them, he is talking about the Jewish people. Christian Zionism has since become a loud voice against anti-Semitism. We now stand in support of Israel as a way to right our wrongs. Our aim is to turn afflictions of the past into blessings of the present. Shabbat Shalom.